I'm Elizabeth from Suitcase Full of Books, and today I'm in Boston, where we're going to follow in the footsteps of author Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Let's go. British march by the land or sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the north church tower as a signal light, one if by land and two if by sea, and I on the opposite shore will be. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote the poem Paul Revere's Ride with the lines we're all familiar with about hanging a lantern in the old north church to warn if the British were coming by land or by sea. bought behind the scenes tickets for a tour of the Old North Church this morning. It should take us up to the famous bell tower from the poem, and I think we get a quick tour as well. Familiarity with the tower, coupled with the fact that this was the tallest steeple anywhere in the city, would have been two very compelling reasons for him to have chosen to uh, hang some lanterns in this steeple, as opposed to all the others available to him in Boston. If it makes anyone feel better, that door does lead outside. <laughs> Good morning. We're picking up the trail of Henry Wadsworth Longfellow today here in Cambridge, Massachusetts at his house. Longfellow became a professor at Harvard, which is when he started boarding at this house. It was later after he married his wife that his wife's father bought this house for them as a wedding gift and they moved in and had the rest of the boarders move out. And so, because this was Washington's office, Longfellow wanted it. Uh, so this became his study. Hmm. Um, all of his, not even all of his favorite books, all of his favorite books are scattered throughout the house, but some... dressed up a little because we have a dinner date. The last stop on our Longfellow tour is dinner at Parker's restaurant at the Omni Parker House Hotel. We're here because Longfellow used to meet with a group of writers and philosophers and they called themselves the Saturday Club. Writers like Emerson and Thoreau and Hawthorne and occasionally Charles Dickens would meet here for dinner, so we're gonna have a nice dinner. I got a shrimp and corn risotto under lobster, and it is delicious. This restaurant is home to the Boston cream pie, so of course we had to get Boston cream pie for dessert. Anybody who's anybody has come through the Omni Parker Hotel, and our waiter was kind enough to tell us that here in this hallway is a mirror that was in Charles Dickens' room when he lived here for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> 